Youth Runner here with Cherry Creek star uh, Emily Cohen, uh, 1704. Uh, outstanding effort uh, here today. Uh, firmly uh, in, in the top five among, uh, among the best women in Colorado at the Liberty Bell Invitational here, uh, here at Heritage. Uh, more than a 40 second improvement from, uh, from last year, which is uh, always exciting to see on, on September 14th. So when I say that out loud, I get this awesome smile right away, but, uh, but, uh, but, but, uh, but like, what is the, the greater significance? What's the, what's the greater meaning? Like, how proud are you of the yeah. way you executed? Um, I'm very proud of myself today because I just went in enjoying running. I think sometimes we can get caught up in like putting pressure on ourselves and trying to just like, yeah, too much pressure. And so just enjoying the moment and being grateful to have all this amazing competition and just like this race is so awesome and it's so much fun. So just enjoying it and yeah. Obviously, as, as you and I were sharing conversations just a moment ago, certainly no stranger to the sweepstakes here, certainly yeah. no stranger to the highest stakes races imaginable, whether it's on Colorado soil, yeah. you know, whether it's taking the group to Minnesota, whether it's taking the group to, you know, Alabama, you know, everywhere in, in between. But this course specifically, a lot of people get excited about it because yeah. they feel like they're going to uh, going to PR. But yeah. how much do you feel like you've learned about you know what works best for uh, for Emily Cohen? I mean, I love you talking yeah. about just the happiness and the joy. Yes, uh, but on this course specifically, you know, to, I mean, obviously to be able to have the significant drop that you did today mm -hmm. shows me that you are as intelligent as you are fast. <laughs> uh, so, just, uh, what, what do you feel like you've picked up over the past couple of years that you applied today? Yeah. Uh, first of all, the. The start is super close, and so you have to get out really fast because I feel like last year I was kind of conservative at the beginning, and then I wasn't, you know, at the placement I wanted to be. So you just got to get out and stay with the girls and believe in yourself that you can stay with them. And then the second mile is honestly when you really have to push because you're in the middle, like it's hurting, and but you just got to keep going and just stay with the people around you. When you got to the Saucony Arch and you know started on that uh, on, yeah. uh, on that climb at the, at the end, I mean. Just looking at your body language and your energy told me that, uh, that like you were every bit as ambitious and courageous as you were, you know, in that in that first four, uh, 400 meters. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, it's always it's always going to be daunting. Uh, yeah. But uh, but just you know, how you know, inspired were you, and, and how optimistic are you after you know, after conquering it the way you did at the end? Yeah, I'm just I'm really happy with how I performed today. I think that was a big confidence booster. You know, just believing in yourself and having positive self-talk is like the number one thing because your fitness is going to be there. It's going to get there eventually, but like your self-talk is really how you're going to get to the next level. So I think that's just something I'm proud of and something that I'm really sure Most definitely. Whether it's been with Riley, whether it's been with the Wolf Sisters or whatever, I mean, obviously, you know what it means to be on a great team. Yes, you know what it means to be uh competing against the best women you know not just in colorado but uh, uh but the united states and then just when we thought uh emily that class 5a couldn't get any better uh <laughs> let's just throw nywat in there yes, you know because uh if there's room for one more uh make sure it's a team that finished second in the yeah. country last year but yeah. you are a woman that just loves to compete and like yes. i like I, I will say again just seeing your joy seeing your energy seeing your passion for what you're doing right now do you do you relish that uh, that opportunity. I mean, not to say that it, it wasn't hard when it was you know, with, you know, with you and Riley and you know, and, and yeah. Addie and the Wolf Sisters and whatnot. Yeah. But I mean, like, but do you do you appreciate the fact that it's like I get an opportunity to compete of in course. the deepest classification in yes. arguably United States high school history? Yes. I mean, it can be stressful because you're like, there's more fast girls, but at the same time, that's such a great experience. You know, you're going to be able to race faster people that are going to inevitably like push you to become better. And I think it's just. I'm super grateful to have all these fast people in Colorado. Colorado is such a like a state with so much depth, and so it's really awesome to race all these girls. And I'm really excited that Nywat moved up. I think it'll be very exciting. Fantastic! Again, 17:04, uh, uh, outstanding effort, more than a 40-second drop uh, from last year, and a big indication that not only Emily Cohen but Cherry Creek uh, is going to be right there in the mix uh, yeah. with uh, the best classification, and, and not just. This year in Colorado, ever in Colorado, and arguably in U.S. high school history. Emily, stay healthy. Keep up the good work. Thank you.